Thousands of players, coaches, parents, and spectators have made the National Sports Center their home away from home during the Schwann's USA Cup. More than 25,000 people are on the campus every day. Making an event of that size run smoothly is not a small task. Day by day, people just come in and sign up because they hear it's a really good volunteer opportunity and they want to see what it's all about. But yeah, we should get around 400 to 500 volunteers for this year. There are so many different ways that people can help during the tournament. There's a lot of different volunteer opportunities here at the USA Cup. Um, one of them is the field managers and they oversee one to six of the soccer fields and they're just the key communication point between the fields and headquarters into operations. Um, and then they also make sure referees get to their games on time and games start on time. Another opportunity is referee transportation. So we have some golf carts that um, drive around campus and transport refs to their fields. Um, another one would be final team check-in, um, opening ceremonies. Also before opening ceremonies is the spaghetti dinner. And then we have airport greeters. Um, so they are at the airports um, waiting for the teams to arrive. Many of the volunteers have a history with the tournament dating back decades. I met one volunteer, this is his 30th year out of 31 years that the USA Cup has been taking place, um, a lot of 25 years, 20 years, so people are definitely experienced volunteers. One of the large events during the tournament is the spaghetti dinner before the opening ceremonies. 1,300 people bought tickets to the dinner this year, and many volunteers were on hand to help feed the hungry guests, including this guy. This room behind me might be empty right now, but in about 10 minutes, it's going to be flooded with soccer players. 1,300 of them that are going to eat a delicious spaghetti dinner over the next three hours, and I'm here to help. That's right. I decided to join the team and lend a hand. My job was simple. Make sure that everyone knew where to get their dessert. How is everyone doing this evening? Good. Good. How's the uh, pasta? Good. 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 Did you know it's all you can eat? All right. All right. Uh, I also have uh, your tickets to get ice cream. I know about ice cream and only ice cream. Did everybody over here get an ice cream? You did not. Well, you're going to need one because it's delicious. There you go, sir. Are you sure? Everybody needs ice cream. You got to have ice cream. It's warm outside. Unfortunately, it's not all you can eat ice cream, just all you can eat pasta and bread. Yeah, you can get more. Didn't you know that? Oh, yeah. 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 All you can eat. All right, who did, did everyone over here get an ice cream coupon? Anyone still need one? Thank you very much, sir. Yep, the ice cream is outside. I can attest that it was a lot of fun and I made some new friends. I mean, the memories that they have from it, they get to meet people from all over the world, whether it's players, parents, coaches, referees. The staff that work on USA Cup all year long will be quick to tell you that there would be no USA Cup without the hundreds of volunteers. The volunteers are definitely the heart and soul of this tournament. We honestly could not do it without them. Um, they keep everything um, glued together. With my time as a volunteer coming to an end, there was only one thing left for me to do. Whew, well, I made it. It was an hour and 20 minutes of volunteering and boy, am I tired. I think I need some ice cream like these guys right here. So I'm going to okay. turn in that and get myself some ice cream. And let me tell you, volunteering at the USA Cup is not as easy as it looks. But I had a great time. Now it's time to eat some ice cream.